Welcome back to another Weekend Recap. This is number two. Don't worry, there will be a full This Is Hardcore episode coming out this Friday, April 7th. But with all the chaos of the releasing the last video, the shows we have going on, the work on This Is Hardcore, I couldn't get to a podcast this week. So here we go. Here's another little recap. Thursday, we'll just jump right into it. March 30th, we had Vane at the First Unitarian Church. We had Bankrupt, Gum, Jive Bomb all down at the Snake Pit in an undisclosed location in Philadelphia, which says a lot for Philadelphia Hardcore and the fact that we're able to have two separate shows in the same city on the same night and both shows fucking killed. I was not at the Bankrupt Jive Bomb show, so I can't give you a review, but I heard it was awesome. Seeing the videos it looked fucking awesome. The show I uh, attended was the Vane show. Vane was being on tour at City Morgue, some rap band, and they had a day off, and instead of being a bunch of dickheads and going to some bullshit club with a fucking barricade, they hit us up. Hey, we want to do a cool show. We have a day off. And they came back and played the church. So last time they played the church was when they were opening for Code Orange, some wild show that we did. I want to say it was like February 2018 or something like that. Might even have been February 2017. Who knows? But it's been a long time for them guys to come back. Yeah, it was 2017, February. That was the first time they came and played the First Unitarian Church. So they came back headlining. Since they had a day off, they didn't have a tour package, so we were able to build it up. We had gloves off from PA, which is uh, Cody. If you don't know Cody, Cody's been around all, uh, around here for a long time. Um, gloves off has played shows that we've done and always opened, always killed, and people love it. Uh, Cody's got a new band they're called the Great American Typewriter. Absolutely fantastic, not metalcore at all. Very pop. I mean, the kid's an angel. He sings like a fucking angel, and um, I really can't wait to see this band and what it does. So, Gloves Off killed it. Kids came in early. A lot like the Tsunami crowd the following, uh, the, early, the preceding Thursday, but that's how it is. We're going to work them into the hardcore scene here. Um, if you never heard of full, uh, Foreign Hands, get with the program. If you're into the metallic stuff, the Poison the Well stuff, the evil 1990s, early 2000s stuff, that's what they do. Delaware, um, homies with everybody. Tyre and Lars toured with uh, Year of the Knife. And... Um, they're coming up. They're getting their weight up. They've been traveling. I heard they killed it at LDB. Good for them. they got big things coming, and they did great. Um, Year of the Knife played third. They hadn't played Philly in a while, and they brought the heat. A lot of new stuff. Big, um, de not a complete departure, but a, a departure from the sound from the internal incarnation record. Um, Maddie full on vocals, and um, the new kids liked it. It was pretty cool. Good to see Maddie up there, and that band actually... They're going to Europe, and somehow they still managed to make the transition from showing up, playing a show, getting to bed, getting up early. Their flight got canceled. They had to get another flight, and they barely made it to their first show. But they're in Europe and doing well. And what do you say about Vane? Vane's one of these bands that um, rose pretty quickly, and then obviously with COVID, you know, it was a uh, you know touch and go. And then they come back. I mean, they ended up headlining the Friday. This is hardcore last year. They fucking killed it, and. Um, I would say Vane is like metalcore for people who listen to the bands like, yes, the real prog rock metal stuff. Nah, I'm kidding around. They're very technical musicians, but the kids were going off. A lot of the young kids, the first time ever at the church. So it's great to see Vane, uh, as they're growing, bringing fans to the first of the church and, you know, getting them into hardcore. Friday was at the uh, Reading Club Reaver Chris Mood. It's where we do Keystone Hardcore Jam, the home of East Coast Tsunami. Pennsylvania hardcore shit, and to be honest with you, um, I didn't know what to make of the show because it was a Friday night, uh, turnout showed up early, uh, wrist open, wrist from Boston, they're doing a run with Hold My Own and Pain of Truth and the Sanity and Mabel, who I believe, I believe Hold My Own and the Sanity Risk all played in Baltimore the night before, but I'm not sure, but I do know that Overcome Fest was the Saturday, April 1st. And so they were all going to play in North Carolina. That's how all these shows are getting tied together. So risk open, my boy BG on the, mo on, the, on, the, on the microphone. Total Boston accent. Had the people up front moving. Greg Falchetto. Been on tour for 20-something years. Um, great front man. Really got it going. That band's getting tighter every time they play. If you want to get better as a band, young guys, gals, and wizards, all you got to do is go out there and play. The more you play, the better you get. It's just part of the reps. You know, it's what you do. So, for me, 
I, I, I played with Hold My Own in Florida, and they were ripping it, and this was a different level. Even color, uh, even covered uh, Killing Time, um, Telltale, which we fucking love. Just an awesome way to see an opening band kick some ass, uh, especially on a Friday night. Um, and it's Andy from North Carolina, James Aluzio from Long Island, end up in North Carolina. I think he jumps back and forth now. But um, the first time playing in Pennsylvania, they did pretty damn well. Check them out on Spotify. Um, it's hard, man. Who, who else right now is paying the truth? Not many people. Pain of Truth gets up on stage. I tell you, it's like I said it on stage. I said to friends, like, this is the band coming up. They're like the biohazard in between the self-titled and the uh, Urban Discipline record. Pain of Truth has big shit in the store, and they kick ass every time they get on stage. Um, and they did the exact same thing. It was really hard for Madball to follow them. Um, but awesome show. Great to see all newer bands all playing, and then Madball still out there doing their thing. Chris Mahmood. Uh, always ranked in the top 100 independently owned venues in America. Always does a great job of Club Reverb. For a big club, they're probably in America, and especially in Pennsylvania, the first time we've had a giant fucking club where the bouncers aren't trying to beat you the fuck up. The bouncers are fucking hardcore guys. They're fucking hardcore family, and that's what makes great Club Reverb awesome. That's why we do shit there. So, great to be back. We hit Sheets Country to and from the venue. What, wah, wah, fuck you, you're getting sloppy. Um... Saturday we had off, so no shows, hung out, did our thing. Sunday we got up early, we go to Ocean City to hang out with Diego and Frey, uh, Diego and Frey Train and his, his family. Later we link up with Slave and his family, hang out for a bit. Then we end up at the uh, at Atlantic City show. Atlantic City show is um, not one truth from Atlantic City. Death Metal Dante and the boys. Uh, then uh, Risk, you know, they like to party, and they woke up early in the morning, but not too early, and they got jammed up in the D.C. traffic, so hold my own and, and Risk change. Once again, hold my own, tight as nails. Greg, dude, his delivery is down. He's got that fast and cool voice. I never said his voice was cool, but this is the first time in Hold My Own that I actually think he has a really sick voice. He's doing fucking great. And then, um, yeah, Risk gets up right from the van, literally just walks right from the street, the van, jump on stage, plays a fucking stat. Had a great time, and, um, and you know, shouting around us, you know, his age. It's weird to talk about my own band, um, especially the fact that I started playing in Shattered Realm in 2004. So, you know, some of these bands, the kids are 25, 26. Well, 19 years ago, when they were six and seven, I was fucking screaming these fucking songs. But I'm happy, I'm proud, I'm thankful that we're still being invited to the table. And we did our best, knowing that Pain of Truth was going to come up, and we played after some amazing young bands, and it was fun. Thank you once again for having us. The, the venue I said, I said this on stage, is uh, Anchor Rock Club is run by um, Greg, who was in this band called Scram back in the mid-'80s, and they got some cool shit. They did, uh, just recently, they had Harley come. Uh, Shadow Realm headlined a thing Tony O from Shadow Realm put on uh, last year, and um, Greg Falchetto from Hold My Own has a sold-out Gorilla Biscuit show, April 29th there. So, they got some more shit coming to Hardcore. Actually, I think Acacia Train might have played there, but like they're starting to get more shit. So, if you see a show in that area, make sure that you attend. And now... Let's circle back to that. Let's circle back to Saturday. I didn't want to bring it up and then kind of throw the whole thing off. So, Saturday we dropped Just This Is Hardcore, no caption, on the Instagram, the lineup. And the lineup is real. That's the lineup. That's the first drop of our lineup. We got more coming. So, just for anybody who didn't see that, uh, Bane, Gorilla Biscuits, Integrity, Earth Crisis, Prayer for Cleansing, Silent Majority, No Pressure, Vein, Mind Force, Gridiron, Undying Speed. That ain't even a whole day. That's spread out. That's a bunch of bands across the three days. It's our first drop. This Friday, April 7th, we're going to drop the whole lineup. The following Monday, we will be on sale. So, this hardcore, 2023, August 4, August 5, August 6. This is what it is. You know, time to step up. This is one of the best lineups we ever had, and it is because of the help of Bob Wilson, Greg Falchetto, Eric Walk. Um, just, that's my camp. Those are the dudes that had a second opinion. You know, Vito's up, don't put this band on, you know, make sure this band's on. Whenever you do a project, it's great to have friends to help you out. So, I'm very fucking lucky to have them with me. 
and the byproduct is this. Um, now, um, for me specifically, I'm just excited to have another lineup up. I mean, you know, it's so hard to build it up. Now we're at the end. I've got three days. Oh my God, I gotta get the rest of the, you know, ready all the art. Gotta get the, you know, the email sent. Get everything in position. It's fun. And then, you know, from April seventh when we, we drop until April tenth, we go on sale every single day until like a week after the fest. That's going to be every single day. There's going to be something that has to be done for the fest. It's an all year thing. I love doing it. This hardcore started in 2006. I ain't stopping. And uh, I really appreciate the people that saw the lineup and laughed. I was like, haha, April Fools, it's too good for it to be real. Thanks to all the people that said it's one of the best they've ever seen so far. And just come out and support. We have to be disruptive. Time to disrupt all this. I, I'll Google this hardcore forever. Um, the Philly Hardcore Show stuff. PhillyHCShows.com or Philly-Shows.com. Thursday, we got a show at Bonks. Bob Wilson got Life's Question. New World Band. I've never seen them actually. And um, Cutdown's going to play. Vespin's going to play. I think I'm missing one other band too. I can't remember. But that's at Bonks on Thursday. I'll be I'll be swinging through, checking out Bonks, getting into the pit, Chicken Heath in his face doing a New World Band. No, actually, I think he plays drums, so I won't be able to kick him in his face. But Josh from Life's Question is a reason why people know about Bonks. So, dude, it's your hometown. Now, it's your home base. You better bring the fucking heat, motherfucker, because we're going to sit. I'm going to be at Bonks. Can't believe I'm saying that. And then Friday, I'm going to be at an Alex Bradley show in Toons and Voorhees, which brings me back because that was the spot to go to on a Saturday or Sunday when you were bored and wanted to check out some records. I don't have this. Uh, oh, Not One Truth. I'm an asshole. Not One Truth's a band on there. Say a look at my list. Um, uh, Stand Still, Wild Red. Sun Title, Capsule 9, Nave. This is at Tunes and Voorhees, Alex Bradley Show that Friday. So, two awesome shows back to back. And um, while I have you here, let's really drill down on this. Dream. It went on sale two weeks ago. Last week we dropped the lineup, and it is under 100 tickets till it's completely sold out. Get on getting your Dream ticket, it's going to sell out. Incendiary. Now, that's the next one. Um, it's, we just announced it, Incendiary Volcano, which is uh, homeboys from San Sugabog, and this is their hardcore thing, uh, Simulacra and Scarab, Friday, June 23rd, at Underground Arts. We are doing something Saturday, June 24th, at the church. I'm not going to drop it, but if you're coming to June 23rd, be prepared for some fucking goon-level shit at the church June 24th. That's all I'm going to say. We're gaining traction. Yeah, fuck yeah, we are gaining traction. Um, we also have No Pressure, which is uh, May 21st. That show is almost completely sold out. That's at Underground Arts. Um, we've got a lot of shows. We're very blessed to have these kind of shows coming out. And i got to tell you, man, um, just to be a part of this, just to be able to do my shows, and Ben has his shows, Bob, Alex, I mean, Bob's a fucking killer. You see the shit he puts on at FYA, does a ton of shit. We are planning, if you were at Reverb, we are planning to do some outside stuff at the end of the summer with that big open canopy and all that. And we're going to have a Keystone Hardcore Jam. Got a lot of shit planned for you, so you just got to keep following us on the social medias. Philly HC Shows on Twitter and Instagram. T-I-H-C Fest on Twitter. And this is Hardcore Fest spelled out on Instagram. We are also always on Facebook, but I don't think we generate posts. I think it just comes from our other socials to that. And then, um, yeah. Let's go with... That's a no-brainer. <laughs> I fucking love this thing. It's a no-brainer that we're out here doing our best in a real fashion to continue to support hardcore in the way that we feel fit. Um, it's not ever going to be one person involved in Philly hardcore shows. And you showing up, you putting your ass into the just buying tickets, showing up, supporting the band, supporting the bands with merch, you know, just reposting helps us. You know, this is a full cycle community. Very happy to see the support and people, you know, regular faces at every single show. New faces becoming regular faces. New faces becoming band members. I mean, that's another huge key thing. Big shout out to Fool's Game. You um, know, look at where they're at now. I mean, absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're very blessed in this part of Pennsylvania. Actually, Pennsylvania is probably the best hardcore scene in the country, which if we're the best in the country, means we're the best hardcore scene in the world.
That's facts, right? Let's circle back to that. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I should have hit that one yet. But um, again, keep supporting. We got another podcast coming out this Friday. It's going to be the old school style. I don't know. Maybe I'll put the video up. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But um, thank you once again for supporting another recap episode. What would be the key learnings here? The key learnings here is that we had a great weekend, multiple venues. We had two shows in Philly, a show in Reading, Pennsylvania, a show in Atlantic City. Philadelphia was there representing in all of them. You can't ask for much more. We've got the This Is Hardcore lineup, the April Fool's gimmick that we pulled off 10 years ago, worked again, and here we are talking about the lineup fully dropping, tickets going on sale. Man, there ain't nothing better than that. I'm at capacity. And that's the truth. I'm at capacity. This is the end of the show. Thank you for supporting. Take care.